Hey friends, Sarah here from Arizona Science Center and today do I have a treat for you. Whether you're looking for a tasty snack or trying to beat the heat, I got a little science to make your day. We're gonna try some five minute ice cream and all we need are a few ingredients that you likely already have right in your refrigerator or can easily get at the grocery store. So let's take a look at what we need. We're gonna need some milk, some heavy whipping cream, some rock salt or ice cream salt, which will be right in the salt section near the baking stuff at the grocery store some ice, vanilla, sugar, and of course, some equipment. We need a measuring cup. We're gonna need some measuring spoons. And really important, we're gonna need some zip top bags. Now, a sandwich size bag will do uh, for the smaller size. If you got a little smaller snack size bag, that will do too. Um, and then a larger bag, like one gallon, two gallon. If you don't have that larger bag and you have, say, a plastic bowl with a lid that makes a complete seal, that will work too, but it's gonna be a little louder and you'll see what I mean in a bit. All right, let's make this happen. First ingredient we're gonna use, we're gonna mix it up with a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Then we're gonna add a half cup of milk and we can add it to the same measuring cup all the way to the one cup mark. Perfect. And then you're gonna take your sandwich size bag or your smaller size bag, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna go ahead and dump that liquid right into the bag. Now we're making, as I said, vanilla ice cream today. So the next ingredients you need, you need to sweeten it up. I like to use about two tablespoons of sugar. You can adjust this if you want it a little sweeter or even a little less sweet. And then if you set your bag down, it should stay. You need a little bit of vanilla for that vanilla ice cream, right? So about a teaspoon of vanilla. And if you have vanilla extract or imitation vanilla, either will work. All right, once all your ingredients are in that sandwich bag, you're gonna go ahead and zip the top until it's sealed. Make sure it's fully sealed. And just give it a little squeeze to mix it up. Then we're gonna set it aside. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up our bigger bags, so that one gallon Ziploc, the zip top bag that you have, and we're gonna add our ice. So go ahead and dump, don't knock over your ingredients, we wanna make sure that you're careful. Um, we're gonna go ahead and dump your ice right in the bag. And now, there's not an exact measurement there. We're gonna end up tossing our bag of ice cream base in with it. So you wanna make sure that there's a little bit of room for it, but about a you know, quarter or half a bag of ice is good. Next, we're gonna add some salt. Also, not an exact measurement. If you need a measurement, you can use about a quarter of a cup, but I'm just gonna shake a bunch in there. If you don't have ice cream salt, you can use regular salt, but it's better if you have the larger rock salt. All right. So let's talk about the science of this really quick. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna pop in our ice cream base into the bag with the salt, but those aren't gonna mix. But we're adding the salt here with the ice because the heat from our hands is gonna start to melt the ice, but we don't want it to touch other ice that's already cold and refreeze. Do you remember what temperature ice freezes at? That's right, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So I mean, once it starts to melt at that same temperature, right, once it's above 32 degrees, we use the, the salt in with the ice so that it doesn't actually refreeze into a solid. We've got ice here that actually came out of a freezer that's colder than 32 degrees, right? Most of our freezers are about zero degrees, minus one degree Fahrenheit. So it's actually really, really cold, but we don't want it to refreeze into solid because as it's liquid, that's called freezing point depression, by the way. But as it's a liquid, it makes it easier to steal the heat out of our ice cream base. So the next thing we're gonna do is shake this up for about five minutes. All right, get shaken. All right, so after you've shaken up your ice cream, you're gonna go ahead, open it up. We've mixed it all up. Ooh, and you should see that it's already pretty solid. So after just about five minutes of shaking, we've got lots of ice crystals that have formed in our ice cream base. Let's get a good look. Oh yeah, look at that delicious vanilla ice cream in just five minutes. And you know what, it looks like magic, but that's science, it's magic that works. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a lot of fun with it, try different flavors. You know, see if you can get a whole competition going as maybe who can get theirs to go the fastest, the hardest, or best flavor. I'm sure you can have a great time. If you want more science activities like this one though, go ahead and check out azscience.org and we'll see you next time.